Hey guys, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel for another plan with me. Uh, this is the week of September 23rd through the 29th. I'm using this kit from Glam Planner and it's called Stargazers. Or no, Stargazer, not Gazers. Stargazer. I absolutely loved when this kit came out. I had to get my hands on it, but I waited to get the glitch kit because it's significantly cheaper and I can never find any imperfections. So, and I've mentioned this when I hauled it that I always try and wait until she does glitch sales to pick up any kits that I want to get in like the ultimate version. Even though you don't get all the extra stuff, in the end it ends up being cheaper anyway when you pick up the extra stuff along with a glitch kit because it's just, I don't know, I personally like it a lot more. So, that is what I'm using this week. I also mix foils. I use silver and rose gold because I could not decide. Um, when I did pick up this kit, which is the downside of waiting till a glitch sale sometimes, the glitter the glitter headers were sold out, so I had to use some for my collection. And these are like real glitter headers from um, the blanket planner that I bought, I think last year for Black Friday. Um, so yes, so that's what I am using instead and I really like the way it turned out and I haven't used like the real glitter headers in a long time. And what I mean by real glitter headers is that it actually is real glitter. It's not like paper, um, but it doesn't like fall out or like um, shed or anything like that. So that is a plus. Um, I am using bougie boxes too. I use so many bougie boxes because I use so many um, day extenders. So I just use a whole bunch of my collection and I need to stock up again, but um, I just alternated between silver and rose gold. Um, I'm also tracking my water and vitamins this week and then my meals and then the extra full box I'm putting down at the end because I didn't have anything else to add in there. I try to use up as many full boxes as possible because I just loved this art so much and it came with so many full boxes and I got the extra full boxes too and so I just tried to use a lot. But I'm just going to go ahead and get started. On Monday I had um, coffee, which I think I have coffee. I do have coffee every day, but I like to mark it in there sometimes. Um, I also worked out this day and um, I know I haven't hauled these yet, but I got some new stickers from the Fox and Pit and um, paper shire and I really wanted to use them so I'm sorry but I'm gonna be filming that haul soon so I used a paper shire girl to mark that I worked out this day I also did some work from home and I bought some giants tickets um, it was also conference week this week so that's what I used um, that little um, like schoolhouse from paper shire to mark that and then I um, since I was like working from home and I just had a bunch of homework to do, I went to my favorite sushi place to go pick up some sushi and um, I just did some homework. And then down below, you can't see it, I think I show you in a minute, but that I don't know why I marked this. I feel like I'm weird, but Emily followed me on my like personal Instagram, which I thought was cool and I didn't even know she had a personal Instagram. And I'm talking about Emily Catherine from Scribble Friends Ho. Um, I think that her name is Emily Catherine on YouTube too, but um, she followed me and I just wanted to mark it. So yeah, um, moving on to Tuesday, I did another workout and that little workout girl is from Fox and Pip, which I love my order from Fox and Pip. I've never purchased from her, but you'll see it in a haul, all the things I purchased because I kind of went a little crazy. I also had to get some gas and this day it was so hot outside. I remember I wore shorts and a tank top to work and it was just, it was miserable. And I think that was the last hot day that we've had, except today, which I just filmed a plan with me. What is today? Um, October 23rd. Um, it's supposed to be 90 degrees outside and I'm not looking forward to it. So I'm probably going to change and put shorts and tank top on again. Um, after getting gas, I went to McDonald's because I was like, you know what? I haven't had McDonald's in a long time. I worked out. I did a really intense workout. I deserve it because I was craving it. So I got some chicken nuggets. I also had a YouTube binge and did some shopping online at Sephora. Um, after work, I drove to SAC and I had to go pick up my boyfriend because he was at a baseball game with his friends and he didn't want to be there anymore. So I had to go pick him up. And then we went to Mendocino Farms. They just opened one in Midtown, Sacramento, and I'm so happy. I 
it was so good. I love Mendocino Farms. And I've actually never been to one because it's like an L.A. thing mainly, I think. So, um, yeah, so we went to there. And then we just had a great talk while we were there at dinner. And then I did some more work from home when we got back. Moving on to Wednesday, I had to wake up quite early because I had to work at 7 a.m. So I drove home super early. We also had a meeting this day. Um, I don't remember what the meeting was about. It may have just been like a staff meeting. Oh, yeah, it was a staff meeting. And um, I used a little emoji with like, it's supposed to be like a headache emoji, but um, I pretty much did have a headache. There was so much information at that meeting, like so many things coming up that we needed to prepare for. And so it was just a lot and it was kind of overwhelming. Um, after the meeting, I came home and took a nap and then um, I did some cleaning around the house too. And the um, little tidy up script is from Kinsey's Creations. And then the little bucket of cleaning stuff is from Fox and Pip. Um, before I went back into work, I did a Starbucks run and then this day, what else? Oh yeah, this day after my boyfriend's hockey game, he came home and we just had some cuddle time and we door dashed some lazy dog. I don't know if you guys have a lazy dog near you, but they have such good chicken pot pies. And so I got a chicken pot pie and it was so good. I think I ate the whole thing. I know I ate all the crust, but it was so good. It was also payday on Wednesday. And then while we were having um, Lazy Dog, we um, started watching The 100 because it's finally all on Netflix. I know you can watch it on CW, but there's commercials. I don't like doing that. So we just waited until it was on um, Netflix to watch it. And then moving on to Thursday, I used another little Fox and Pip girl to mark that I had my morning coffee. And I believe I made my morning coffee at home this day. And then after working in the morning, I came home and did another workout and I used a little fox and cactus um, running girl, which I love those girls so much. And then I had a dry bar appointment after. Um, also, I, it was, oh yeah, it was a very productive day in the morning. Um, so I wanted to mark that. I don't have like productive days or anything like that. I just have these stay productive stickers I've been using because I have so many of them. So that's what I've been using instead. Um, on my lunch break, I went to Subway and I finally have some sandwich stickers and those are from Paper Shire. And then I had a headache once I came home. So I just kind of came home and took a nap. And then um, I did some work from home too before I actually took a nap. And then once I woke up, I know this is kind of like out of order, but it was the only way it was going to fit in this planner. Um, after waking up, I went and got some poke, which was not very good. I haven't had poke in a long time, but um, I needed to eat something. I knew I needed to eat something. That's probably why I had a headache. So I just went over there because that was the only thing that sounded kind of good. And I had a couple bites and I was done. Um, I also got a whole bunch of Happy Meal that day. And then Dean came over and surprised me because... He was actually working in the city that I live in. So um, he ended up just coming over to say hi for a little bit. Um, after that, oh, on the next day, on Friday, I had to wake up early because I had to drop off my sister at school super early in the morning because she had practice. Um, so I was really tired. And then I made some coffee when I came home and I did the dishes, which I never do the dishes. That's like not my thing. I hate doing dishes. So I wanted to mark that I actually did them. Um, I also did another workout and I had a fail ab workout. I was so tired. I ran, I think, four miles this day and did an arm workout and another leg workout. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to shoot for an ab workout. And I was like three minutes in and I was dead. I'm like, nope, I'm done. I cannot do this. So <laughs> I've never like actually failed at a workout. So I just wanted to mark that it was a really bad workout that day. Um, I also had some kombucha after. And then once I came home, um, I had a planning session and did some homework because it was Friday and my homework's due every Friday. Um, and then we kind of had a little date night. We went to this place called Crazy Sushi, which we have never been to together. I've been one time with my best friend, Neil, back in like high school. But um, I definitely... Eh, it was okay. It's not like my go-to sushi place. I prefer my like favorite sushi place, but it was the only thing open. It's like the late night sushi place that's open in our area. And then we went to the movies to go see that Brad Pitt astronaut movie called Ad 
Ad Astra, I think is what it's called. Um, it was good. I did fall asleep because I was super tired, but we went to go see that movie and I just had a really bad tummy ache that day after the movies too. Moving on to Saturday, I slept in this day. Um, I think, I can't remember what happened or why I slept in. Oh, oh yes, we were house sitting at my boyfriend's parents' house. So I slept in um, this day and then after that, we ended up going to the Cheesecake Factory to go have brunch, and we did a little bit of a Lululemon shopping spree. One of our friends, we found out works there, so she gave us a 40% off discount, which was so nice, and so we went a little crazy there. Um, I also got bit by my boyfriend's parents' dog, and what it, which is so funny, I don't know if I filmed it on um, this channel, but exactly one year ago on the same day, September 28th, 2018, I got bit by my dog. And I'm like, what are the odds of it being exactly a year apart from each other? I just thought that was so funny. But I mean, also not funny because it kind of really hurt. And my arm was like bruised for a week. But um, yeah, so I wanted to mark that in there because I just could not believe that happened. And then we also went to Blaze Pizza that night. And then we started watching Breaking Bad too, which... Um, I really miss that show and it's been a couple years since we've watched it so it's like a good time to like start watching it again. Um, moving on to Sunday, I woke up super early this day because I wanted to have like a productive day. I also had me time and by that I just mean I like washed my hair and had coffee, enjoyed myself outside for a couple hours, did a face mask so it was really nice. Um, I also had to get gas this day and while I was doing that I, um, oh wait, just kidding, that's not what happened that day. Um, so yeah, I did wake up early and had me time, but it wasn't a couple hours outside. Um, I had to get gas and then we went to a Starbucks run and we went on a road trip to San Francisco. I completely forgot. I wasn't even looking at my planner. Um, it was the Giants' last game of the season and it was so sad. So me and my best friend, we went, we had a bestie date. And so we went to the Giants game and um, I did a lot of shopping at the dugout to go get stuff. And then after the Giants game, which they lost really badly, um, I it was really sad they had their ceremony because the manager of the Giants was retiring and it was literally so sad and I don't know what we're going to do next year but um, I'm like really nervous for it and then after we came home from the Giants game I had a tummy ache I'm trying to figure out what it is I honestly think it's like gluten or dairy or both um, but my stomach has just not been doing very well these past couple weeks um had another really bad tummy ache um, and then after I went to the studio and just kind of hung out with my boyfriend for a little bit and we rewatched the like giant ceremony at the end because he didn't go to the game but they filmed it and so we got to rewatch it again and I just cried again which because it's so sad I can't believe he's leaving so that completes this week's plan with me so much happened this week especially on Sunday and I can't believe I forgot that it's such like a memorable thing but um, here's what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, make sure to ask them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And if you want to see close-ups, check out my Instagram, which is Eric Marie Plants. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.